Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole. Welcome to Ulta's Love Your Skin event week number two. Apologies in advance if I sound off. I am still getting over this cold. It's been quite exhausting. I feel like at this point probably I should just accept also that I'm slowly turning myself into the Cheshire Cat instead of Alice. You see what I'm saying? But as you guys know, the deals never stop. I actually really should have started my last video this way, but let me start this one this way. In the event that you are on a low buy, you are not looking to buy anything, please know that this will not be the last sale ever. That's just always the case. It's a great time if you are buying, if you're looking for deals, and if you're on a low buy, the deals are gonna come back around. But let us not waste any further time. We can dive right into these. I feel like I have a lot to comment on in this week. So, Sunday, January 12th. First off, we have the Bare Minerals Butter Drench Restorative Rich Cream. Regularly 38 will be 19. You know, this is actually not a bad product. I was looking at it and I was thinking, that's actually a great price from the start. $38 is not bad for this moisturizer. It is going to most likely be a heavier moisturizer. I see it's got a lot of fatty alcohols, silicones in it. Ingredients that don't make for my favorite products usually, but that's what's in a lot of these other moisturizers that are 60 bucks to start with. So not bad, not bad overall, not a, uh, a product ingredient list that heavily appeals to me, but not bad. 50% off Cerovital Advanced. How many of you have been on this channel long enough to know how tired I am? of this particular product. See, that's why I started this video off saying it's all gonna come back around. Now, here's the deal with this one. This is some HGH supplement. There's not a whole lot of research around it, but there are some amount of people who seem to swear by it. And what I always say in these videos is, if it's a product you swear by, great. You can get it for 50% off. <clears throat> Almost in every sale. 50% off Skin Iceland Icelandic Relief Eye Cream with Glacial Flower Extract. I did try this when I did my Skin Iceland trial. Um, I moved past it. A lot of products from the brand did not stick with me. In fact, none of them stuck with me aside from the gels that we're going to talk about later. Uh, but I understand some amount of people do enjoy this. $24 for an eye cream. Not too bad. On Monday, January 13th, we have 50% off the Strivectin Advanced Tightening Neck Cream. Now, I talked about neck creams in my Elemis video. I talked about this particular one in my Strivectin video. And what I've always felt with neck creams is that if it's a product that you want to purchase, great, because you should always be using skincare on your neck. Now, do you need a separate neck cream? Not necessarily. It's the same story as with eye creams. Some people swear by them, some people don't. Nobody's really wrong. So if it's a product that you use, this is a great time to get it. And it is a product that is a favorite for many people. We also have 50% off Kopari and Belly Select items. Oh, I'm so excited I can finally buy more of this. The Kopari Coconut Body Glow. It's so pretty and it smells so good. Probably keep in mind that I'm sitting here telling you this. As someone with pink hair and little pink hearts around my eyes, I like things that are bold, so I'm not even gonna lie to you, this is bold. When you put this on, you get a ton of glitter all over your body. If you are a subtle person, you're probably gonna hate this, but if you are wanting to go to uh, EDC or what have you, mm, yes. Oh, I'm gonna get this one, $14. I'm so glad I waited. I've been babying this. I've been like, oh, I don't wanna use it because then I won't have any left. Such a terrible strategy because that's how products go bad on you, but at least now I know I can slather my body in this and repurchase it. So we talked about this brand in my last video and talked about how they have these products for uh, women who are pregnant. And this looks like two body products for women who are, are pregnant or were pregnant. We've got an elasticity belly oil, stretch mark minimizing cream. I really respect this. I think that is very nice that there is a niche filled at Ulta. Tuesday, January 14th, some of you guys let me know about this one before I even knew about it. And I'm getting this as well. This is the Exuvian's Vitamin C Serum Capsules. These will be $35. And according to those of you who have been waiting for this sale, this one has not been on sale before, nor have I seen this on sale. This looks like a really great product. So as you probably know, the problem with ascorbic acid, the least stable form of vitamin C, and yet the gold standard, is that it is not particularly stable. So Exuvian's has worked their way around that 
by putting this product into individual little capsules that you pop open so you are always getting the freshest vitamin C possible. This is so incredibly brilliant. 60 count in here. I'm definitely going to be grabbing this because again, this works out really, really well for me. I like to use products for a while, put them away for a while, and that's not something you can do with vitamin C. So this is something where I will feel so much more comfortable doing that. Again, if you are at all sporadic with your skincare routine or you take a while to finish off products, I do think this is one I would recommend for you. Granted, I'm saying this as somebody who has not tried it, but is going to. We also have 50% off Lancome's by Facile on this day. So this is a liquid, in particular, eye and lip makeup remover. I wouldn't personally use this all over my face. Yes, I do use this in addition to a cleansing balm. And let me explain why. So maybe this will help you determine if this is a product that is for you. So you see this look I'm wearing today. This is kind of a lot to take off. So what I'll often do is use this before I go in with my cleansing balm and remove some of this heavy eye makeup. It wipes off immediately. I put some of this onto one of my reusable pads and then I wipe all over, all over my eye area. If I have lipstick like this on, I'll wipe this off too. This is a Stila Stay All Day. I'll wipe that off with this and then I'll use my cleansing balm. I say occasionally because sometimes I forget and I'll just go in with my cleansing balm, and then often I'll look in the mirror later and say, oops, I still need some Bifacil. I still got some pink on me somewhere. It's an amazing product. It's absolutely the best for removing in particular mascara that I've ever tried. If you've ever tried Lancome's mascaras, they are tough to remove, so it was very considerate of Lancome to come out with such a good makeup remover. And then we have the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Exfoliating Peel Spray. Now, I have tried this, and we're going to go off on this whole rant about exfoliating peel gels once because we have two of them in today's video. So, in the past, I've said that I hate these kind of products, and I've said that I feel like people are misled by them. I uh, would like to amend my statement a little bit after reading on our Asian beauty on Reddit uh, a little more about the Korean mentality around these kinds of products because these actually did originate in Korea. So all of these exfoliating peel gels or sprays in the case of this Juice Beauty one, what they do is they contain carbomer and when you put the carbomer in the product onto your skin, it finds any oil in your skin and it combines with that to create these little balls. And I, I will link a video in which I show that, my Bosha video. So what you're actually getting is a physical exfoliation in the same exact way as if you were using a product with, say, microbeads. Now here's where this gets interesting, and it does not matter what brand you're talking about, you're gonna find this consistently. Within the reviews of these types of products, there are people saying, oh my gosh, I put this on my skin and I cannot believe how much dead skin came off. So what happens in the case of these products is people see that reaction that I was just describing, the oil plus the carbomer, and they think, oh my gosh, it's dead skin. This product works incredibly well. Look at how much skin is coming off. And that is what I hate. I hate the fact that that misinformation is spread. I hate the fact that people think that's what's going on. Ugh, it, every single one of these products. And I've always felt like, mm, maybe the company should step up to the plate and say, hey guys, this is what's actually going on. And here's why it's actually pretty darn nifty. Because, and this is what I had not factored in before or I didn't know before, uh, you know, this is a great alternative to using microbeads that is a whole lot more environmental friendly. And I think the bottom line here, what I'm hoping I convey in this, is that people in Korea do understand this and do know that that's what's going on. You're getting an alternative to microbeads in a physical scrub. Whereas, the mentality that still persists in American reviews, at least, is that these products take off massive amounts of dead skin. You guys, you would run out of dead skin. You would run out of living skin if that much skin was coming off of you. I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot of little balls. So, if you like that idea, if you like physical scrubs, you might like these kind of products. And I admit that I've been hard on them in the past. But, you know, again, with this new information, I actually kind of think that's neat. But again... I just can't stand misinformation. I can't. Mm. Mm. So anyway, I have tried this product. I think it's fine. It's an exfoliating peel gel. It's like all the rest of them, except it is more natural because it's Juice Beauty. Also, it has a little bit more of a Juice Beauty smell, and you either know what I mean or you don't know. It's strong. It's, it's, it's natural, but it's strong. 
Let's move on, shall we? We have Wednesday, January 15th, Paracone MD High Potency Classics Face Finishing and Firming Tinted Moisturizer SPF 30 and Moisturizer. Woo, that's a long name for that. So these are two products included in this sale on this day. Um, and what you need to know about Dr. Paracone is that he absolutely swears by an ingredient called DMAE. I have done my best to break that down. I'll, I'll actually have to link you my Derma E video if you're interested in more of my thoughts on it. Um, but it's, it's a controversial ingredient, however, it does seem to work extremely well. When I did my Paracone MD trial, I had great results, but I was iffy about that individual ingredient. So, you know, it just, again, like a lot of things, it kind of comes down to what you're comfortable with. Are you comfortable using an ingredient that gives great results, but maybe needs some more research? And then we also have some beauty tools on this day. Looks like we will have 50% off that Michael Todd Beauty dermaplaning system. Oh, nobody commented on my last video. What was your experience with this? Has anyone tried dermaplaning? We have the Nurse Jamie Uplift Body Sonic Massaging Beauty Roller. That looks like a much more intense version of her original. We have the PMD, which I've talked about in past Ulta videos because this is another product that is pretty much always in these uh, love your skin or 21 days of beauty type of events and then their new online only clean This is the first time I've seen the clean though. This looks like their Foreo alternative Honestly 50 bucks for a Foreo alternative is not bad But it's something that I don't have experience with personally to comment on as far as the PMD I'll just kind of give you my quick summary uh, it seems very expensive for something that a lot of people have used and then forgot that they owned now all that said some amount of people absolutely swear by it. That's just how everything goes in life, you guys. That's how everything goes. Personally, I'm passing on the PMD. Just, ooh, that was alliteration once again. Beautiful, beautiful, yes. I'm just happy with chemical exfoliation. It delivers incredible results, and I don't have to spend $100 on a device to do it. Thursday, January 16th. So, my Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels will be 50% off on this date, and I am stocking up on them. They are in almost every sale, but they are my favorites because they stick to your eyes, they don't budge. You can do your dishes, you can do all your household cleaning while you have these on, and that is something that I need in my life. Disclaimer on this one, I suspect that if you have a latex allergy or like a glue allergy, something like that, these might not work for you directly because they stick on your eyes. We also have 50% off Teamy Green Tea Blend Detox Mask. So they sent me this years ago at this point. Uh, I no longer have it because it did expire, but overall I think it is a fine uh, clay mask. It'll be $15, that's a good price to pay for a clay mask, and it's bright green. I think that that's a lot of the appeal. Please stop, tell me if I'm wrong. Would you buy a face mask because it's green? Do you think other people would buy a face mask because it's green? I only say this because I've been digging deeper into reviews and sometimes when I get really deep in reviews, I'm like, what are people's motivations for buying products? Because sometimes it seems like, oh, it's green, so I'll buy it. I don't as for my experience, it is a clay mask. It is a much more natural clay mask, which is going to appeal to some amount of people, but it is very drying. I did not love it, and I uh, it, it, it expired before I was able to finish my container. But again, bear in mind, I'm not even the kind of person that loves clay masks in the first place, so I will not repurchase it, but I don't think it's a bad option for people who love clay masks a heck of a lot more than I do. We also have 50% off the Fountain of Truth Magic Wand. Sweetie, isn't there something else called a magic wand? Magic wand sculpting eye roller. This is $60. Okay, this is actually kind of interesting. I hadn't looked at this before. For some reason, it didn't appeal to me. But now that I've clicked it and opened it, it's kind of an interesting idea. So it looked to me like it was just some kind of a device. But apparently, it is actually filled with your eye product. It's a half ounce of eye product in here, plus a cooling massage tip. That's an interesting idea. Actually, now that I'm looking at this, why hasn't anybody else come out with this? This is interesting. Let's check these reviews. Mmm, I had a feeling. I had a feeling that it was going to work for some people, and for some people, not at all. That's been my experience, too. Uh, what was it? The Pacifica Bacuchiol. I had to pull that rollerball off of that. It was terrible. I was actually able to use the rollerball on the Derma E eye product, 
it's just, I feel like there's a lot of variation in products like that in terms of will the product come out, will it not? So this particular product might be a coin toss, but you know, it's something that if Alta sent me a 5X multiplier, that would push me over. Does that make sense? Does that resonate with anyone? Friday, January 17th, we have the Peter Thomas Roth Firm X Peeling Gel and everything I just described earlier about the peeling gels applies with this one. So, you know, just be an informed consumer. Be an informed buyer of products. Know what it is that you're buying. If you like physical scrubs, this is better for the environment. 50% off the Tula Clear It Up Acne Clearing and Tone Correcting Gel. So I very much like the fact that this is salicylic acid at 2%. That is the level that I would recommend for acne and they have, they nailed it, perfect. It's also got niacinamide, it's also got your probiotic ingredients in here. I can't comment on this personally, but I'm interested in it. I, I am interested in it. And then the last day of week number two, we have 50% off the Dermalogica Age Smart Super Rich Repair. This will be $44.50. So this too looks like it's going to be a little bit more of a heavy product. To be honest, this looks like a heavy moisturizer week, heavy weight moisturizers for this second week. So, you know, you either love that or you hate that. Sorry, oily skinned people, probably not your week. Um, but yeah, it looks all right overall. Uh, I do wish that they would use less essential oils, but I think that's Dermalogica's thing. Other than that, humectant rich, got a lot of occlusive ingredients in it. It has coconut oil as well. Remember that if any of you guys have experience with these products and want to share your experiences, please feel free. My comment section is open. <gasps> Guess what's next? The Too Faced Hangover Serum. I love this. I have raved about this so much and you can get it for $19.50. So the reason I like this so much is first off, it doesn't have any silicone in it, which I have talked about this with serums before. I don't love silicones in my serums. They're fine in my moisturizers, but not as much in my serums. It does have lactobacillus ferment, which is a great ingredient for my skin in particular and potentially for other people who may be dealing with acne. Probiotics may work out for you as well. Multiple forms of hyaluronic acid, algae, caffeine. Uh, it's not a tremendously long ingredients list either. I really do think it's a great serum. 50% off the Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. So this will be $16. I was so hoping for another one of those sets because they've often had the sets that are $15 with the full size. That's how I got this one. Uh, but it looks like you will have to choose just the eye cream itself. It's a good eye cream. It does have a little bit of a color correcting tint. Actually, I'm going to link you my eye creams video because I talk more about this in that video. 50% off the Dermablend Flawless Creator Multi-Use Liquid Foundation Drops. If these are anything like the Cover FX Drops, my experience with those types of products has been that I think in my head of all of the great things I will do with it, all the incredible discoveries I will make, how I will discover, oh, this blends so well with this moisturizer, what a beautiful end foundation, what if I try it with this primer, and then I do nothing. I do nothing with those, and I grab a foundation bottle off my shelf instead. Maybe these work for somebody, and I can see them being nice as a mixer, but man, I never use these types of products. Finally, 50% off the Dermalogica Multi-Masking Facial. Book today for $20. Please just know, Dermalogica is a very high in essential oils brand. It may work for you and it may not, which is every skincare brand ever, ever. Not bad though, $20 for a facial, not bad. This is an interesting new direction from Altum. I'm excited to see what else we come up with. Can we expand on the brands? I'm, I'm getting excited, I wanna see where we can go. So that is all I have for this week's video. Make sure you're subscribed for next week's video. Give this video a like if you found it helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.